So we are back on the Colorado. This is being kind of just shoved in the corner. We haven't had time to do anything to it. Customer work always comes first. I can't stress that enough. If you don't believe me, look at the dust that's on this truck. So we just got some stuff from Jared at Current Performance. He just sent us some schematics here. And we have a new fuel module from the 2020 Silverado. He just ordered this and the connector and put this wiring together. He wanted to come down and get involved in wiring this, but like everyone else, he is so insanely busy and we need this truck working. We not just need it for personal use, we need to get welding bottles, we need to get uh, material, and I need to get out of the S2000, just daily driving that thing. Uh, for one, and putting miles on it, plus it's just kind of annoying to daily drive that, get in and out of it, pick stuff up. Um, this has obviously the colors already set here. Now according to this, we're gonna go by right here. He's printed this out, the Silverado. So he has already gone to the extent of doing this for us. Let's see, so I think we looked over it last night. This is basically what has to be spliced over. Some of these things have to go to the actual gas tank where it says splice at tank. Some of these have to go to the gas tank. Some of the other ones go to the actual module, which is in the back of the truck. So I'm gonna put the truck up in the air and take a look. Uh, it has a box that's similar to this that kind of bolts near the spare wheel and there's a big connector going to it. Of course, you know, why would Chevrolet use the same connector? That makes no sense at all. You know, rather than manufacture one plug and it uses, you know, the same plug, uh, just repin everything. Let's design a whole new plug. That's a good idea. That really is. So if you have something that works and you're happy with it, redesign it for the next one. And not even the plug, the whole The whole module. entire thing, yeah. You like, don't just reprogram that and repurpose it for every GM vehicle. Just completely redesign it. They used to. There used to only be a handful of ECUs and they'd go and everything. Yeah, it don't, uh, there's got to be a reason why, but from a standpoint of uh, manufacturing, you know, it's kind of like if you have an alternator and it works for this, use it for everything. Yeah, my, uh, sense. my white color auto I had had the same ECU as a CTSV. Yeah, which makes sense. Just program it, tell it, okay, it's a five cylinder, put in this program, disconnect these pins, don't use this. Yeah. But no, they have to redesign the whole stupid thing. So hopefully that's going to fix it because right now the, the truck says there's no fuel in it. The ECU says there's no fuel in it. And we're fairly confident that that's why it goes to reduced power mode. You go half a mile down the street, it checks, uh, clicks the check engine light and says reduced power mode. Uh, let's go ahead and put this thing in park so the headlights turn off because the headlights are just going to stay on and suck the battery down. Uh, turn that off all the way. There we go. Uh, get the door closed. That's, oh, that? that's the can opener. This is like a, a Boy Scout tire iron. Yeah, no kidding. So this is under the seat. Look at all the extensions. So this is to tip the spare wheel down. You'd think the spare wheel is in the in the front. Yeah. I mean, look at all this. It's just like doing a clutch on an S2000. I think this one's just for the jack. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, by the time you put all these together and stick it in the bumper, the spare wheel would be yeah, it's up there. under the passenger seat. I imagine if it was a northern car. That, that doesn't work. Yeah. You'd never get that in there. You'd have to just call AAA and say, hey, uh, yeah. yeah, I don't think it's that far, is it? Uh, we use this yeah. to turn it, don't we? We could probably use something else, but this is what they give you. Yeah, I'm not as worried about scratching it up. I mean, I'm trying to keep it nice for the next guy, but not that. I'm trying to get over that. I mean, what if the next guy needs to change the spare tire? He's going to scratch it up himself. So. Yeah, exactly. So stick that in that hole and wait while it goes clunk, yep. and then start turning and stuff should happen. So the module, like I was talking about, is there, but this big tire has to come down. Look at that. This is so primitive, isn't it? I mean, it's kind of cool. <laughs> it's I mean, look at the suspension, though. I mean, that's been carried over since, like, the 1800s. Oh, it's been before then. Julius Caesar actually put this on some of his early chariots. Yeah, well, I actually heard he did a flip kit and dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, when he, that's when he decided to be cool. Yeah. But, I mean, it's cool. But it's also primitive, you know, it's like you wind you know it what? down. You don't even have to pick it up yourself. You just drop it to the ground like that. Yeah. And you reach under and you can unhook it and you don't have to pick it up. That's actually kind of clever. But you still got to unhook it and drag it out from the car. So you still got to drag it out. Look at this. Brand new. Never used. No, it leaves a big dimple jam on the yeah. side of the tire. 
that's to remind you that when you put it on, it's so far out of balance, it shakes you to death, so you've got to get a new tire put on. Yeah, that's how they get you to do it. That's why it's temporary use. <laughs> the size of the tire, why is it temporary use? You know, it's not like a skinny. It's as big as the ones that are on it. Why is it temporary? It looks it, like the ones that came off the GMC. It's probably not temporary. No, they just say that because it's not going to match. Yeah. They don't want you rolling around ruining the look of their truck with that steel wheel. No. Temporary use. Get your nice wheel back on it, guy. The goofy plug right there. All of this wiring is going to the tank. What does a skinny so wire do? Is this for light? That's, yeah, look at, that's, look at the Honda plug. Is that Honda plug? Yeah, I put that there. <laughs> oh, that's right. So we cool. can unplug the roll bar. <laughs> okay. I'm like, all right, all right, that's cool. So that is obviously the light in too. So can you get to the wire on the gas tank? Probably not very easily. Can you even see it? No, you gotta see where it plugs in maybe somewhere. Let me get the camera up there. Get that up there and then we'll review the footage. Yeah, yeah, give me the light. I'll shine it through that hole. And yeah, get my arm up there. So it's Esther's birthday, by the way. So we've got a nice little surprise for it to come into right here. Balloon, box, card, flowers. Chicks dig flowers. Good morning. Good morning. Coffee. I got two free coffees today. Did you really? I already drank one. Did you really? I did because I ordered a coffee and it was my birthday. So I got a free coffee. And then um, I had to go inside because has it really been a good morning? No, yeah, well, yeah, but... Did no. Did Jeff tell him? No. But anyway, I had to, I had stuff I had to do this morning that was not planned, obviously, you know, so I went and did that, and then things were not going well, and then I went to... Oh, sorry. That's actually bad enough. That's all right. That's right. And then I had to go get the coffee, and then when I'm in there, I'm like, it's my birthday, and she was like, oh, happy birthday, and then they're... I usually go through the drive-thru, and the drive-thru wasn't working. So I had to go inside and talk to the people. And then she made the coffee and then she goes, oh, actually, I made an extra coffee by accident. I thought you ordered the other one. Do you want this one too? And I was like, heck yeah. Heck yeah, I'll it's suck my it birthday. Bad boy down. <laughs> I'm gonna have two coffees. So she's like, oh, by the way, it's your birthday. Let me get you another coffee, because it's your birthday. <laughs> one was by mistake, one you bought, one was for your birthday. Yeah, so it was good. Awesome, well, happy birthday, Esther. Thank you. Is this one mine? That was yours, that dark one right there. All right. Oh, look at the dark stuff on the bottom. No, that's a good it's one. It's like mud. That one's yours. So this, obviously, I have to churn it. I drank one of these the other day and drank that stuff off the bottom. <laughs> that stuff is harsh. It's Well, you're supposed to mix but it. But I didn't think about it. I was like, oh, it's like a two-tone coffee. No, <laughs> that stuff's heavy duty at the it's, bottom. It's for real, dude. That will grow hairs on your chest. Yes. And make you choke. Yes. Just a little bit, but not yeah. awfully bad. Hey, some people might be into that. Hey, that's you know right. what? You know, hairs on your chest. Some people like it. Just <laughs> slide into their own mill. You see that? I'm oh, recording you, I saw that. Whatever. Oh, tell the boss, you just slid your own stuff in there. Whatever. So we've got uh, a bunch of orders going out today, including Estra's sliding it in the mill trick. I saw that. <laughs> if I didn't see that, people shipping all kinds of stuff to each other. All right, so. No, you can't. I'll call you. Whatever. I want to talk to the boss about you. Yeah, I got approval. I don't know about that. I, I, I have a number. I haven't seen the intro guy here in a while. Email approval. The good thing about having a truck is you can take your welding bottles to the welding store and get them refreshed. I wonder what that's like. It's going to be a long trip. It's going to be a long trip because the truck idles. That's all it does. So, quick, I didn't show you all the back and forth and back and forth. Where's that silver out of, Dickie? Uh, Did you throw it in the I garbage? It in the lot so, wherever it's gone, we've been soldering and stuff. It didn't work. No, the truck we're on. It just, it just didn't work. We didn't get fuel pump. We don't know where stuff is. Took it apart, wired it up the way the wiring said, and it didn't work. Not only did the fuel uh, pressure problem not go away, the fuel pump didn't run. So it, it didn't work, which it was a learning lesson. Yeah. So well, again, it's kind of an experimental thing. Nobody really knows what we're doing right here. Well, it looks like the Silverado fuel pump runs differently than the Colorado fuel pump, because this doesn't have what the schematic called a low reference, but the Colorado has a low reference. So the fuel pump didn't run at all. Which means it didn't run, so the truck didn't start. Uh, in the back of the truck, extra. Yeah. I'm so, 
because this thing is such a big turd when it doesn't run, you can't push it, you can't move it, it's just a big piece of furniture. We put it back the way it was, put the, uh, the uh, Colorado one back in so it runs, it just doesn't run very fast. It goes about, one of those jumping spiders up there, you see that guy? It goes about 15 miles an hour, then goes into reduced power mode, and then it only idles. So we're going to use the truck just for right now to take three welding bottles up to the store, which is not far away. Don't show off, George. I'm going to edit that out. Hurt yourself doing that. Right? So, all right, I'm to see Esther do the same thing. She's going to lift that bottle up in there. I'm just going to remember that. Yeah, yeah, I want to Oh, no, you're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> you're going to hurt yourself. Are you ready? No, don't do it. That's the way I used to do it. It's end to end, but you know, like, yeah. it's yeah. not as bad. It's not the best for your back, but. It's still not what is. It's not approved. That's what? So we're going to idle up to the welding store, get some new bottles, and then Jared's going to actually pick this thing up in his truck, and then it's his problem. <laughs> That way he can kind of experiment on a few things. He can wire it up and go through his wiring and say, well, that does that, that does that, ohm it, and put his computer on there and see what it's doing. Never mind, I moved it. All right. You're supposed to scrub the train jack. Yeah, I don't want to do that. So if you drive around this speed, everything's fine. It's not bad at all. It just goes 15 miles an hour. Yeah. Actually, it gives you full power for about half a mile. You saw that burnout we did back in two episodes ago. It has all the power in the world for about half a mile. Then it throws the reduced power mode, and then it's 15 miles an hour, whatever it is. We'll get it, eventually. Yes. But keep buying the V8 Colorado t-shirt, because that is supporting this project. Keep <laughs> buying them. We don't even know if the project's going to cost us yet. No. All right, so the update on the Colorado is we still have a V6 as an absolute worst case scenario, but we don't plan on putting that in. We've made V8 Colorado shirts. We've never made shirts that says V8 Colorado back to V6 shirts. So the backstory on the truck or the update on the truck is Jared said, let me just pick it up and work on it in my shop between jobs. Cause he's like, oh, he can't just stop and come here for the day and work on the truck. So, uh, I didn't get any footage of it, but or should I say, George didn't get any footage of it. I didn't pick up a real camera. He didn't pick up a real camera, he picked it up on a, like a, uh, what's that movie where they're chasing ghosts in the woods and nobody really sees a ghost, yeah, but... I did a Blair Witch project. A Blair Witch, yeah. We did one of those, oh quick, he, he was like doing three things at once, so he didn't get that, uh, so I can't blame him too much. I'll, I'll see if I can find it, we'll just put it on there, you don't have to like try and I'll blame him off camera, as soon as the camera goes off, I'll blame him, but... He picked it up, took it to his shop, and he is gonna work on it between things. So, fingers crossed, he gets that thing done. There was someone else picking up a car when it left, so I just did a quick, here, John, your truck left in the truck, and I gotta go deliver another car now. Look at the rig he has. That's a nice trailer. Yeah. So, Jared from Current Performance is working on the truck right now, so fingers crossed, he gets that thing figured out. One way or another, we're gonna have a V8 in that truck, and he's gonna be back on the channel. And everything will be happy. I won't be daily driving cars that I really shouldn't be daily driving. So that's what's going on with the truck. Stay tuned for more updates. And in the meantime, hit up the store and buy some stuff and support this money pit. I mean, project. <laughs>